stories in that segment about goats. The greatest of all time in gymnastics, Simone Biles. <laughs> her job is to win a gold medal, hopefully, and their job is to eat honeysuckle. Eat weeds. Eat weeds. Your job is I to eat weeds. I think I'll take B, the pressure of B. <laughs> a lot easier than trying to balance on a beam. I tell you what, <laughs> flip through it. the air. So. Exactly. Indeed. All right, so I tell you what, beautiful out there, right? All the rain we've had, the goats certainly have plenty of food to munch on because <laughs> everything is so green and lush. And I tell you what, it's going to stay that way, especially when you're talking about temperatures that are barely reaching 80 degrees in the middle of the afternoon with full sunshine during early August. You know, this is typically one of the hottest times of our year around here. So the fact that we're stuck trying to make it to 80 this afternoon and many locations have yet to even do that just speaks to how comfortable of a day it is for this time of the year. Here's a look at your evening. It's going to be fantastic out there, at least especially early. Now, if you're out later tonight, later into the evening and into the overnight hours, it's actually a touch on the cool side. I expect lows again tonight to dip down into the middle and upper 50s, especially in the burbs. So yes, a nice refreshing break from the heat humidity around the tri-state. High pressure is in charge of our weather right now. It will remain in charge again tomorrow. As we get into the second half of the week, we start to see some changes in our weather pattern. But first things first, look at this. You know how oftentimes I talk about the nasty humidity, high dew points, well into the 60s, well into the 70s. This is something you just don't see too often during the month of August here. In fact, we have scoured out all of the humidity across the Midwest. So it's not only comfortable here in the tri-state, but anywhere within about a three to five hours drive of Cincinnati. It feels pretty good out there. Now, as I alluded to, changes are coming. This can't last forever. It's early August. It is going to start to heat up, especially the second half of the week and into the weekend. And we're going to start to introduce the threat for at least more showers in there by the middle of the week. So Wednesday and the Thursday, rain chances do begin to creep up and they get even higher there on Friday. That is also in tandem with an increase in humidity and the heat. We're going to go back to how it typically feels in early August by the end of the week. So here's a look at future cast tonight. Skies are mostly clear. One of the reasons why lows again will get down into the middle and upper 50s in the burbs. As we get into your Tuesday, should be a lot like today was with plenty of sunshine, just a few puffy fair weather cumulus clouds during the day. Tuesday night looks quiet, but I want to draw your attention to what's happening to our east. I know kind of an odd direction to look for our weather, but watch what happens as we go into Wednesday. We're going to actually see some moisture kind of scoot in from the back, and that is going to offer us the chance for the renewed threat of downpours by the time we get to our hump day, and then we'll see that threat kind of linger through the rest of the week. So mostly clear, cool again tonight, especially if you're out late, but fantastic this evening in the 70s. Tomorrow, more sunshine, feels great again, around 80 for an afternoon high. There's a look at your day planner. Very, very refreshing out there for this time of the year. Here's your seven day forecast. Here's the changes. There's your rain threats starting to creep in here Wednesday and Thursday, and then on Friday as well. And notice by the weekend, it's full on steam again. We're talking around 90 to low 90s. Nights back up there muggy again with lows closer to 70. Don't want to wish it away, but uh, hello September. I know, we've been say. loving these miles.